je friends. Hallo, my name is Xenia. For those who still don't know my name, dear friends, I am your Russian language teacher, and today we have a small topic to discuss because we will just compare Japanese culture with Russian. Hmm? <laughs> Dear friends, actually, I just want to talk with you about this Japanese definition, in and yang. I, I guess you all heard such words, and the definition of in and yang is kind of like it's two energies that opposite one to other, but also connected and can't be one without other and together those energies gives us harmony sounds beautiful but dear friends here it's you know just one of the ideas how we may show dualistic view to the world dualistic view of the world it's when we start separating things around us and we start separate those two white and black good and bad right and wrong any friends people earlier and i guess still for us today it's so you know easy and so much pleasure to make such things when we start separate everything around us for the humans i guess in general it's really important feeling that gives us kind of safety when we may like for a second understand is it our person or not is it good or bad and for our minds it's really hard to start believing in different truths to agree with different points and i guess this is what we try to do in this century but those things people earlier haven't been doing <laughs> your friends share in comments is it easy for you to see different truths, to hear different points of view. But we will speak with you today only about black and white, and everything will be clear in such definitions. So, dear friends, in and yang in Japanese culture usually connected with female and male energy and those are really clear to opposition woman and man and of course in all cultures there is such a position as well as in russian and dear friends you know one of the symbol of such a position in russian culture is cat and dog and your friends, could you guess who is who in the story? So actually, cat is female's energy and dog is male's energy. And the main idea why it's so, it's because, your friends, cat stays inside, dog stays outside. And firstly, it sounds kind of clear and even fun, because like cat as a woman is always doing something at home but man and dog supposed to go out somewhere for hunting for fishing and working hard <laughs> meanwhile woman just staying home having good time <laughs> but your friends if we will look deeper i guess it also shows kind of understanding of woman and man that people had earlier and some people still have today the the idea that woman is you know such a character that gets saves and then gives new lives 
And for men, it's more important to go out to the real world, to hunt, to prove, to get, to show that he is good enough, you know, to survive and to support woman with, that is with him. So we may not agree today with such ideology, maybe we do you agree? Write me in comments what do you think about it. So dear friends, but we go to the next opposition. And here let's look at such situation. We have woman and man, we have dog and a cat. What opposition is between those two? We have human, we have animals. And it is one of another opposition in Russian culture. Because people believe that we belong to real world, that is, material around us. And animals belong to unreal world. For example, talking about cats, people believe that cats have connection with dreams world. That's why people those days put their cats in uh, babies bats before put their a real baby because people believe that where slept cat there is this dreams energy and these dreams energy will help for a baby to fall asleep easier also people believe that these cats pouring this more 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 also is very magical and helps people to fall asleep you know dear friends in this i even believe because i also find such uh, noises of cats very calming so people believe that cat might help you with a better sleep so if you have insomnia maybe you just need a cat yeah so dear friends but what's about dog uh, dog is also connected with unreal world and dog is always on the border. As dog is on the border between your, for example, house and street, the same situation will be with real and unreal world. Dog is always on the border. To prove you this idea, because I, I know you won't believe me, right? If I will just say you this. <laughs> To prove you this idea, we may look at the Egypt culture where they had this Anubis god with the dog's hat. And Anubis was a guide between this real and unreal world. Also, for example, Cerberus, who was a guard of the underworld. So, yeah dog is always on the border and your friends here i should also say you one thing that i haven't told you before and it's following do you remember that i've been talking with you about this rituals when people when it was spring as it is now people go out for sewing and people were singing sexual songs. We remember this facts, right? They was very bright. So people were singing sexual songs because they believed that it will help uh, for ground to make a good harvey. But dear friend, the main character who supposed to fertilize the earth was a dog. And now we may even understand why people have such logic. If dog is on the border and dog connects two different worlds, that he may somehow, you know, influence to the different changes in this, you know, between those worlds. So that's why when people were sowing seeds and was just even dreaming about the harvey it was in uh, this harvey is not still in the real world then dog supposed to help them 
and with dog's male's energy that it has and with this power of connecting another world dog may help to make unreal things real and only dreams about Harvey will become a real Harvey one day. So dear friends, once again, if you need to materialize some things, think about dog in this situation. But dear friends, now we go to the next opposition. And if we will look at the cat and dogs, yes, they are animals. But still, it's pets, it's animals who's always around humans, who we may say even serve to humans, yes? And who will be the opposition of pets? It will be wild animals. So in Russian culture, opposite animal of dog will be wolf. An opposite animal of cat, dear friends, don't ask me why, it will be bear. So if a dog and a wolf is really connected in biolo biology, as we know, then cat and bear, it's interesting. Yes, I agree. But dear friends, you know, people earlier didn't know that good biology as we do today. So yeah, wolf and bear. Who are those animals? It's the most dangerous animals of the forest in those days. If we talk about area where Russian people supposed to live. Yes, yeah, there was no tigers, elephants or so on. That's why the most scary, the most dangerous is wolf and bear. But you know, dear friends, be be between those two animals was also a position. So, dear friends, and of course, people believe that if pets' energy is still can be under control of humans, yes, and that pets are kind of in between two worlds, humans and wild animals, then wild animals have much stronger power and that such animals can control people's life. And your friends here, it's really logical because if you will meet wolf or bear in forest, still this animal may control your life in this such situation, right? So yeah, people found those animals very uh, strong and very specific. So your friends, of course, people honored as bear, as wolf, but, dear friends, you know, between those two animals was also a position. Because people found that wolves are more connected with this underworld. But bears connected with this upper world, with sky. And here, kind of, there is this logic that cat connected with dreams and it's also something about sky in my association maybe that's why bear also cat and bear that's why connected somehow and dog is connected with ground that gives us harvey hmm? you see how everything is interesting connected so but talking about wolf and bear why there is such an opposition so people earlier found for example that eyes of a bear are looking like humans that uh, feet of bear also looks like humans and one more fact that proves that uh, bear is better than wolf is that uh, bear can stand up on two paws and walk as human do that's why you know, if bear is looking more like human, of course, bear is better. It's, you know, always our, our logic of human humans, because we think that we are the main characters of this world, the smartest, the best, and so on. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> That's probably our problem, but still. So, dear friends, and wolf actually can't stand on two paws and walk, so that's why he's not good enough, people thought. 
But actually, dear friends, to be honest, I think the main idea why wolf and bear are separated and bear is better than wolf is just because, you know, population of wolves are, is bigger. Uh, wolves always are in a group and may quite often attack humans. And bears usually don't do this. They are not... Uh, it's harder to find a bear in a forest and they usually don't attack humans. And I guess that's the main reason why people like bears more. And to prove this idea also, I may say that people earlier said that bear usually attacks only bad human, but wolf attacks all of them. That's why if you will see a um, wolf in a forest, you need to swear. But if you will find a bear in the, in the forest, you shouldn't do anything because, you know, you already did something or not. If you did something wrong, bear will attack you and uh, he will be right. But if you haven't did anything wrong, then bear wouldn't like to, you know, contact with you. So, dear friends, such an idea. <laughs> and dear friends, yes, so this is how you find out some new oppositions in Russian culture. And the idea of opposition in Russian is really strong. Many, many old fairy tales is written according to this opposition. There is something right, there is something wrong, there is something good, there is something bad. So, dear friends, it is what it is but today we already can choose what is right specifically for us what is wrong and also we kind of may already hear that some people have some other ideas and in today's century we try to agree with this still it's i guess hard for us but we are trying so, dear friends, is it hard to try for you <laughs> to, you know, to go out from this dualistic view to world? Or you are more this dualistic person? Actually, I try not to be, but, you know, sometimes it's difficult. Mm -hmm. And dear friends, you may share in comments as well what dog and cat, bear and wolf means in your culture. I would be interested to know as well. But dear friends, that's actually it for this video. I said, you know, just, you know, to talk about two different culture comparison, easy. <laughs> so yeah, dear friends, I love you very much. See you soon. So I could really Russian. No, of course you, dear friends. And dear friends, you may subscribe to my Facebook group because I made a new one and there there are already enough people and people chat and there you may find even people who you may talk with. I also every time, every day check in this group. I write some posts, we discuss some topics. So I guess it's interesting and I like this idea. I want to make such communities. It's my like future idea. For the life. <laughs> so, friends, yeah, join, love you, bye bye.